Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about clone method in Seesaw.net. So what the clone method? So it is used to clone or copy a string object and it return another copy of same data. So add here this is the first example and here this is the second example. So add here I am using a string S1 and here to initialize with apps. Now a string 2 and here using so s1 at here s1 dot clone so at here if you take the cursor on clone method so it return reference to the instance of a string and here this is the object here object a string now here s1 dot clone making the clone of the s1 and here using a string so this is at here for that costing so it's now at here s1 dot clone it's an object tab and by using a string so it's converted into a string and that is stored to s2 and here after printing printing the value of s1 so this is add here original and here after doing copy so add here this is should be display s2 value now ex let's execute and check the output so here you can see original a string apps and here after applying this or this option here s1 dot clone and here converted into a string that is stored into s2 and printing s2 so add here copied string apps now suppose add here if we remove a string this option okay so going to remove a string part now if you are here here if you take the cursor so add here i'm getting the masses error masses cannot implicitly convert that object to a string so this means add here this is the object tab and here to convert into a string we need to use add here or uh, add here a string and here so by using this it's now convert into a string format and a string format that is stored into sq and sq is also a string tag so this is the thing here so this is object tag and to convert so this is at a tag casting now hereafter let's see another method so i'm going to comment and here uncomment so at here i've taken a string i write a variable str and here this value that I initialize Denver, Chicago, Miami, Texas and here aliens now this is add here this time using as a string so this is object tab and by using as so it's now convert into a string array and that value is stored into a string array c okay so this is add here original value and after doing the clone okay so it's now uh, for cloning we need to use str and here clone method so this is object tab and here by using as a string so it's now converted into a string and that value is stored at here or uh, a string array tab variable c and here this is the original and here doing the joining operation so joining str with the at here comma and here this is original a string and here after doing the clone here clone a string a string jam and here this is the comma joining is comma now let's execute and check the output first and here you can see original a string so this is the value and after applying this it's now convert into clone and here clone a string this is the value and this value is stored into strc okay a string of a string array type variable c and here first time printing str this value and here c so this is the simplest way we can add here or clone any kind of a string suppose add here if i remove this part now here there is the error method the same error cannot implicitly convert that object to a string so this is object tab so either you, we can convert by this way or you simply write as here a string 
and here array. So since this is array tab, so add here giving open and close bracket. And one more thing, suppose if I give, uh, so let's comment that part. And here, uncomment this one. So suppose if I give add here, like uh, i and t. And here, initializing the value with 1, 2, 3. Now here, let's, uh, it's an object tab. Now here, going to convert into integer. And here, giving the same thing at this point, i and t. Now, if I take the cursor, so at here, getting the error message, int doesn't contain definition for close. So that means int we cannot use. Okay. So at here, int doesn't contain definition for clone and no accessible extension method clone assigning first argument. So this is the thing. Suppose if I give at here 1, 2, 3. Now there is the same thing. So that means integer type of variable we cannot clone. Only a string we can do it. So this is the limitation of a clone method. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.